day viewers and welcome to yet a lovely exciting episode as always my name is Michelina Batises and today we're at the arcade of um, just here around the ice and spice ice cream and I'm already tempted to grab some ice cream <laughs> today we'll bring you the news and weather ties as per usual and Yvonne Sherivanga the senior education officer of the education directorate of the Erongo region will share about the Erongo annual career fair that's taking place today so stay tuned We'll be right back after this. And now time for our news. The world needs a father. Founded by Casey Carstens and Jenny Carstens, the world needs a father movement aims to help fathers understand the basic of manhood and fatherhood as well as give them the tools to apply the principles in their lives and those of their families as young as they are ready from a tender age. According to Nick Larson, the local national coordinator and master mentor of the world needs a father movement, the seminar addressed the wounds caused by fatherlessness and helped children to forgive their parents. The seminar also addressed issues pertaining to teenage boys and girls as well as issues of fatherlessness on a local and international level and the consequences of it on a child. We want to restore fatherhood in a fatherless generation and build healthy communities around the world. We have been building families through training and mentoring since 2011 and have shared stories and tales with people in all walks of life from over 100 countries, Klassen said. He noted that the movement is built on the passion of volunteers around the world. These are people who have been profoundly affected by the impact of lack of a father figure in their lives as well as people who don't want their children to grow up with the same wounds. We have worked with special doctors, scientists, government, president, and we have done the research, he says. And now, time for our second story, Restoring Girls' Dignity. Women Who Care, Namibia, known as WWC, a non-profit organization which consists of four women, namely Natasha Lombard, Alexis Taylor, Zainab Lombard, and Janet Kubido, is raising funds to assist girls with sanitary pads. This initiative was started in September 2021 and joined the fight to end the so-called period poverty in Namibia. We want to ensure that every girl is afforded the dignity in life that so many of us take for granted, says Natasha Lombard, who is one of the women involved. The ladies have reached out to four schools in Valves Bay to deliver a total of 700 packets, each containing 14 disposable pads. Learners from Tutalani High School, Narabo Primary School, Nara Primary School and Seaside Primary School benefited from this initiative. The most recent visit took place at the Narabo Primary School with grade 6 and 7 girls receiving 50 disposable pads. The ladies also distributed sanitary pads and 84 dignity buckets to J.P. Brand Primary School situated outside Valves Bay, Omagano Primary School in the north and Eggcake Primary School in the south. The 5 litre dignity buckets contain items such as 4 washable pads which have a 3 to 4 year lifespan, sanitary towels, cleaning materials for sanitary towels, a bath soap and a face cloth. The other WWC project called be her superhero collects disposable pads from the public with pink boxes strategically placed at businesses in Valves Bay Town to donate pads every month to local schools in Valves Bay.
day all. This is Ms. Yvonne Sherivanga from the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, the Directorate of Education, Erongo Region. I am here to inform everyone that we will be hosting the Erongo Annual Career Fair. Uh, the event will be, it's going to be a week long event. It's going to, uh, we are expecting more than 21 exhibitors uh, from different uh, organizations, companies, such as Petrol Fund, uh, UNAM, IUM, uh, and different other companies that will, uh, and then we also have, um, also from the mining industry as well. And um, the career fair, uh, these uh, learners expected to attend from the whole region of Erongo. High school uh, learners uh, from 22 high schools. And um, these are the mainly grade 11s and AS level learners. And uh, we are expecting uh, more than 2,000 learners to attend this uh, career fair. The career fair is um, an, an event that is uh, very important because it is meant to uh, create that awareness and uh, to the learners about the different careers and also to create, uh, to present for them opportunities to, to discover various career options and also to uh, get more information about scholarships and bursaries opportunities and um, yeah so it's a very important guiding tool and it, the event will also include panel discussions and presentations on issues involving teenagers such as um, issues of the impact of teenage pregnancy on a uh, 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 girl child's career and also issues of substance abuse or the impact of it on the career of the young children and the youth as well, because they will also be out of youth also to, uh, to attend the event, parents and uh, members of the community. So it is going to be a whole event that will take place uh, the whole week um, for four days, starting from tomorrow onwards, Tuesday the 10th of May, and then it will end on the 13th of May, which is the Friday. So um, it will be from morning um, until in the evening. So uh, we hope that uh, members of the community will also come and uh, be part of this program and we all learn from it and we enjoy our time here together. Uh, the career fair will also be uh, it will be for the whole week at the multi-purpose center, uh, the Mondesa multi-purpose center in Mondesa, Swakopmund. And um, every day there will be exhibitors here. So people will go through the exhibition, uh, exhibition stalls, the exhibitor stalls. And um, then there will be presentations each and every day on the different careers and professions. And then there will also be panel discussions every day on the different topics um, uh, of issues involving youth and, and, and learners, young people. Yes, so, so, um, and what else? So there might be some quizzes and some thing fun for the young people to get, to, to get something fun for themselves to win. So, um, so they are expected to actually participate, uh, listen well, participate in the panel discussion. Thank you. I am delighted to see so many learners from different schools here in their numbers this morning for the opening of the 2022 Erongo Career Fair. Firstly, the Career Fair is a platform that provides unique opportunities for engagement, networking, 
and potential partnerships between employers and the learners. As alluded earlier by Pastor Harold Boysen, it gives you a glimpse of what is out there. It also shows our learners of possibilities of what they can become. Secondly, the objective of this career fair is to raise awareness on different careers in Namibia and globally. It also aims to create career guidance and awareness for close to 1,680 learners. The career fair helps the learners to identify their career goals and plan their career path. Learners will be able to, to define and set their career goals based on their skills, experience, capabilities, and aspirations. The career fair allows the learners to, uh, to learn about job opportunities in their industry and also to introduce themselves to potential employers. If you make a good impression, you might get an interview right away. The more contacts you make, dear learners, the more opportunities for a job or internship you will have. Lastly, one of the main reasons for this exercise is to attract the attention of learners in the hope that they will one day choose to join those companies and ministries as productive, competent, and skillful <coughs> graduates. Learners, this is your chance to check out these opportunities. If I may borrow this expression from you, I'm sure no corporate exhibitor will mind if I encourage you to ask, what can you offer me? Can I fulfill my potential within your company? Can you help me realize my career aspirations while I apply my knowledge, skills, and innovative abilities to help you realize your business objectives? And I thank you. Platts Amir is a landmark on the coastline of Namibia, a home to quality shops and quality restaurants, a select variety of fashion and food retailers, as well as banks, not to mention the pier with 36 luxury apartments and entertainment for the whole family. Find us at corner of Tavarite and Albatross Street, Vineta North, Swakamunda. Call us on 064-462-242. Visit platsamir.com.na or at Platts Amir on Facebook. Platts Amir, enhancing your coastal experience. Adam Tass is coming to Vindok to help build a brighter future for education. Join us at the Sounds of Caring concert at Vindok High School Fech Cop on 20 and 21 May where he will be performing with Vaughn Irons and Rian Smith. Tickets cost 200 Namibian dollars and are available via eticket.my.na. All proceeds go towards the African Child Development Trust. My name is Trevor Verago and I will be giving you guys a few tips on how to study. First of all, before I start, um, life in general is like a mountain. What you do at the beginning determines how far you go in the journey. In school, the only weapons we have is your brains. Practice makes perfect. Read regularly. Memorize every single thing when needed. Thank you.
And now for your weather, sunset at the coast will be at 26 minutes past 7 on Tuesday and sunrise will be at 29 minutes to 7 on Wednesday. Gulf Bay will have a maximum of 23 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 13 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 21 degrees Celsius. A 9 knot west southwesterly wind will prevail. Swakop Moon will have a maximum of 21 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 14 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius. A 9 knot south wind will prevail. Arandas will have a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 15 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius. A 11 knot south south easterly wind will prevail. Usakos will have a maximum of 33 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 12 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 33 degrees Celsius. A 7 knot north northwesterly wind will prevail. Karibok will have a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 10 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius. A 7 knot north northwesterly wind will prevail. And lastly, Omaruru will have a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius on Tuesday and for Wednesday a minimum of 8 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 32 degrees Celsius. A 7 knot north wind will prevail. Unfortunately, we have come to the end of our episode for today. But if you'd like to read the stories I read today and many more, please visit our website on www.erongo.com.na. I repeat, www.erongo.com.na. If you'd like to contact us or send us pictures and videos or just say hello as we're always open to it, you can contact us on our WhatsApp and Telegram number which is 011-7040. I repeat, 011-7040. We are also online. We have an online TV channel. So head over over to one up to dot com I repeat one up to dot com and we are also on DSTV channel 285 for DSTV DSTV pardon me and channel 94 for go TV and we also have a brand new email just for tips so please send your emails to news tips at irongo.com.na I repeat news tips at irongo.com.na from myself and I it was lovely hosting you today and we'll chat again next time <laughs>